as military bombardments of bandits in Zamfara take new dimension. Controversial Islamic cleric Ahmad Gubi has again condemned the ongoing military onslaughts against armed bandits in Zamfara and other northwest states of Nigeria. Gumi said only residents of the adjoining states are suffering the effects of the military action in Zamfara, as the bandits have since allegedly escaped. How did they know they have escaped? I hope this man is not aiding and abetting these guys. By the way, what you may not hear is that the bandits over the years have deployed escape routes from area bombardment, and you are aware, and you didn't tell the government. They told us you can only kill our women and children with your attacks, the cleric posted on his verified Facebook page. He continued, two contingents of banditry victims came to me that their loved ones were abducted by bandits in Kaduna, Sobok, Regachuku, and Keke. An SKP engineer in the letter said when he overheard and understood that their bandits were strangers in the area, as they were calling the locals to lead them, that gave him the courage to slip through densely grown maize plantation to escape. The point is that if Zamfara is on fire for them, definitely it goes without saying that they will migrate to other areas. So, in the so is the whole of Nigeria going to be under lock up in incommunicado, Mr. Gumi Query. War has never been the solution anywhere, anytime. He said urging the Nigerian government to grant amnesty to bandits, amnesty call, amnesty D. Mr. Gumi had visited some bandits in their forest adult and has consistently advised the government to negotiate with them in order to bring an end to banditry in the region. Zavara State Governor Pelu Matawali and his counterparts in Kassina are engaged bandits in their state in dialogue, but the approach failed to end the menace. They have now withdrawn from the process and endorsed military action. Same with Kaduna State and Niger State are also opposed to dialogue with the bandits. The cleric denied that he will have sympathy for the criminals. With all your utterances, it shows where your sympathy lies. Rather, he said his concern is for his country, his state, and humanity. Oh, you pity the bandits, you didn't look at what they are doing, the atrocity they are committing, killing, maiming people, collecting ransom, you are kidnapping, and you are saying you have sympathy for your country. Which country do you have sympathy for? It's not showing. I am a qualified medical doctor who knows what it takes to precisely exercise a brain tumor without without destroying the delicate surrounding brain tissue. I was a commissioned military officer who knows what the ability is for and what is the capability of our military. I'm an intellectual with a PhD from abroad. All this is your CV, they are heavy. I'm an Islamic scholar who knows the immorality of killing innocent lives. So silence for me in this ocean of oblivion is not an option, Mr. Gumi said. He added that a sensible person will not allow his dwelling to be a theater of war, and in killing rats in your rat investor city room with an iron run will only end up destroying your gadgets and furniture probably without killing any. Should not mask our poor governance with artillery power. My mission has not failed, but it was sabotaged or discouraged by the same influential people that benefit from the chaos or lack us to destroy ourselves and leave the headsmen in perpetual ignorance. Mr. Gumi said, Some said we have tried amnesty, but it didn't work. He didn't try amnesty, but try amnesia. Amnesty without rehabilitation, reconciliation, and reparation is no amnesty. Ask the former Niger Delta militant who killed security men in the past what an amnesty is. What stops us from having a federal ministry of the Mali Kafia? Hey. Where yeah, their grievances and complaints will be addressed. So we should start having ministry of our ministry for every issue we have in this land. This is why. All the bandit leaders we saw complain of how some repentant ones were picked and extrajudicial killing. 
after the surrender of their weapons without their trust of the very unjust system all Nigerians complain of, which they took arm to fight, peace and negotiation. Let's bring our role of mediation. They bandits know as religious men we will not deceive them, and they came out in troops to meet us. To our astonishment, it is the same unjust system that turns around to betray our peace mission. Some of the press for giving a negative narrative whom I also term criminals in purpose. Some of the politicians who I see as urban bandits, who out of their sheer mismanagement of our resources and mismanagement of priority cause the death and infirmity of more people than the bandits affect. Of recent, how many Nigerians die of cholera, a waterborne disease because of lack of simple clean water to drink, or typhoid, malaria, and malnutrition? A nation with a maternity mortality rate of almost 500,000 per annum because of the lack of adequate maternal health facility and qualified staff. A country where it is highly prized medical personnel is looking for a wound to escape the inferno. Such a country, please. As for the economic impact of the areas now under siege, it is just a matter of time you will hear them crying out. Already yesterday, a man from Zabe came begging because of economic stagnation. One could have told that Gusau, the capital, is closer than Kaduna to beg. As for those cynics, they have no value to add in the dilemma except vituperation. And abuses will know that it's the substance they are made of, no qualms whatsoever. You don't expect fragrance from feces, Mr. Gumisi. So what is the solution? Good intelligence, good proficient policy, engagement of the local men in policing, rehabilitation, reconciliation and reparation. Reparation for who? Of all victims of banditry. The good, honest judiciary that protests people's rights. Money and time we spend, well spent on this will surely kill the disease and inhale the nation of this delinquency, crime, and bad governance, he said. Well, that is Gumi's view and opinion. What is your take on his comment? Kindly make your opinion known. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you and God bless.